Good. Hi, Billy and Kristen. Nice to talk Hi. to you today. Nice to talk to you too. So Kristen, you've been finding yourself in crazy situations on screen. What with this and Palm Springs. I know. <laughs> I, know I didn't realize that until we started doing press for this show. And people have been pointing out, because to me, they're, they're such different women. So I've only been thinking of it in terms of the person I've been playing. And then people have brought it to my attention that they are two scenarios in which I'm trapped in a reality that I don't desire to be a part of. Which couldn't all of us say that about living right now? <laughs> well, the premise- Come on, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't leave me hanging, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> The premise for this series is really unique and inventive. How would you describe Made for Love to people who haven't seen it yet, and also each of your characters? It's really hard to describe it. <laughs> you have to describe it all day, and I, I would say that that's also one of the things that I love about it is that it is hard to describe. I think that um, it deals with really it it deals with connection between. Um, connection to ourselves, connection to our families, connection to our spouses, connection to our exes, connections to each other, while also being this sort of like sci-fi, dark comedy, heightened magical realism world. Like there's a lot going on, but I also really love that. To me, that sort of feels like life. You know, how would you describe, like what's the genre of life? I don't know. I feel like I lost the thread there. I took a big swing and I kind of like missed the ball, but you get it, you get it, you get it. <laughs> Billy? <laughs> uh, every, everything that Kristen said, and it's kind of like, you know. I feel like you're, you're coming upon us, like we've been doing these interviews since like 8 a.m. And we've now just reached like the feral stage where we're both like, well, <gasps> <laughs> like you're witnessing like a real, <laughs> God, sorry. Billy, Billy, yeah. describe your character. Uh, I think uh, Byron Gogol is the personification of toxic masculinity and what society thinks as a successful human being. It is the, this is, I kind of came to this realization during these interviews that, you know, this show is a little bit of after Prince Charming and the Princess Mary and that's it. And then our show is the credits afterwards, what actually happens and realizing like, oh, that whole life that I wanted, that, that, that kingdom and that Prince Charming and all that crap, like it's not actually what I wanted. And there's actually no connection here. I was living out of fantasy. It was, I fell in love with the idea of love rather than this person that I'm actually trying to connect with. Yeah. Well, what setting would each of you choose for the hub if you could pick anything at all? I gave this answer earlier, but I stand by it. Um, I took a trip to Tanzania a couple years ago and it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. And I would just have that surrounding me at all times. I'm down, I'm down with the hub the way it is. Like it could be anywhere in the world, but I would want one of those anti-gravity rooms. Like, and you just like the wind <laughs> blows in your face the whole time and you could just fly in there. That would be fun. <laughs> now, where was this filmed or is all of that like on green screen oh we all we filmed it in la like in la and outside of la and on a sound stage but the hub is at a house well yeah. parts of it parts of it are on a stage and then parts of it are in a house yeah studio, some, some, right? are, some are green screens but a lot of it was like uh in loca on a yeah proper location yeah and i just have time for one more question but tell me what it's like Could to work with you. Mono. wait what wait. what wait what what did you say billy I said, we're going to miss you. You said you had one more question. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. The time is limited. I have to fit the no. What so is Ray like? Yes. <laughs> he's a delight. Everybody loves him for a reason. He's a delight. He's such a wonderful human being, but he's also such a fantastic actor, which I knew, you know, because I've, I've watched him in so many things and he's so, he's such a like deep feeling person and I don't know, he's such a wonderful performer and I, I'm really excited for people to see him in a new light in this show because I feel like he gets to do stuff in this that maybe people haven't seen as much of, but he's an utter delight. Well, uh, well I, I have to say Ray is, you know, in, in this crazy industry that we uh, work in and live in, he is a man that I, I look up to and admire and with full respect, and trust and you know 
as a younger younger man in this industry, I, I truly admire what how he composes himself and carries himself in the professional world. And if I could be a smidgen of what he's like, I would be honored. That's so nice to hear. Yeah. And I have to say, thank you so much for chatting with me today. You two are so much fun and wishing you much success with the series. Thank you. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye. Bye.